Solar thermal energy is a renewable energy and, like photovoltaics, converts solar energy into usable energy. If you want to know exactly how this works, what types of solar thermal systems there are, how they are constructed and how solar thermal energy differs from photovoltaics, stay tuned, you learn about it in this video. Compared to photovoltaics, solar thermal energy does not convert the energy from sunlight directly into electrical energy, but into thermal energy. No complex effect like the photoelectric effect in photovoltaics is used for this. When light hits a solid body and is absorbed by it, heat is generated. We all feel this effect when we stand in the sun. In solar thermal systems, this conversion takes place in so-called heat collectors. These are usually black because black solids absorb almost all the light and reflect very little, maximizing the heat yield. A fluid, for example water, flows through the collectors, which absorbs the heat and transports it to a hot water storage tank. The liquid in the heat storage tank is heated up and as soon as the heat is needed, for example for showering or heating the home, the heat can be taken from the storage tank. For heating, the water that also flows through the collectors can be used directly. For drinking water, on the other hand, at least one additional heat changer is used to prevent impurities in the drinking water. Solar thermal systems can be divided into two system types based on the collectors. The first type is systems without concentration of sunlight. These systems are used for households for example. The sunlight shines directly on the collector as just described. Here for example surface collectors and vacuum tube collectors are used in which temperatures of 80 to 150 degrees Celsius can be reached. The second type of system has collectors that concentrate the radiation. Here mirrors are used to reflect the light from a larger surface into a point or a tube where it can reach significantly higher temperatures even over 1000 degrees Celsius if necessary. Such systems can be used in industry for example to generate process heat. A wide application of these collectors are solar thermal power plants. Like PV systems, these generate electricity from sunlight, not directly, but via heat. In most cases, a steam turbine is used to generate kinetic energy from water that is several hundred degrees warm. This turbine is then connected to a generator that converts the kinetic energy into electricity. In the following, we will take a closer look at the differences as well as the advantages and disadvantages of solar thermal and photovoltaic systems. While solar thermal systems can only generate electricity indirectly and heat directly, PV systems generate electricity directly. However, they can also be used in conjunction with a heat pump to generate heat efficiently. A solar thermal system is generally cheaper to purchase than a PV system. Due to feed-in tariffs and rising electricity prices, however, PV systems usually pay for themselves somewhat more quickly than solar thermal systems. On average, a PV system pays for itself after about 10 to 15 years, a solar thermal system rather after 20 years. However, the deviations from these figures can be very large in individual cases depending on the application and location. Due to the greater use of heat pumps and the advantages in amortization, significantly more PV systems have been installed on private house roofs in Germany in recent years. Looking at the differences between solar and PV power plants, one advantage of solar thermal is the ability to store the heat. This means that the energy can be converted into electricity at a later date and solar thermal power plants can also generate electricity when the sun is not shining. One advantage of PV is its efficiency. PV plants can thus supply more electricity per area than solar thermal power plants. Solar thermal power is particularly worthwhile in countries with more hours of sunshine and warmer temperatures. Solar thermal energy is also used much more there. In Morocco, for example, there are large solar thermal power plants. 
You can see exactly how photovoltaic systems work and are constructed in this video here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the energy transition.